Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a Glitterati mystery box haul. Um, I have been buying them like every time they're available because I was like hoping to catch the overpours of my customs and I don't actually think I got any, um, which is okay. It's like a, um, a little sad, but I have so much of my customs that I cannot complain. And it's always fun to get a Glitterati mystery box. Uh, I'm probably not going to be buying from Glitterati for a while because I now have so much. Um, and I want to make sure other people get an opportunity to buy from her. And I might be de-stashing some of this, honestly, because I don't love a few of the blends. But some of them I am obsessed with. So, let's dive in with the, like, mini loaf. They're such a fun size. This is Let Them Eat Cake, Bum Bum, and Raspberry. It's a really interesting blend to me. Like, those are things I would not put together. And I don't really like this. The raspberry is, like, a little floral to me. And I don't really feel like Bum Bum goes with those things. But to each their own. Hopefully I can find somebody who will love that much more than I do. Then we have White Musk Pink Sandalwood. And this is, like, better than I thought it would be. My partner really likes sandalwood. So I'm probably going to keep it because he would really enjoy it but it's not like my favorite scent but it's okay um and when i say this like i'm very picky and i know when i'm getting a mystery box i'm not gonna love everything and i'm okay with that uh that's not at all me being upset i feel very grateful to have uh, been able to buy glitterati so many times because her wax is phenomenal okay this is blue hawaiian fruity wings hawaiian splash and this is like very tropical which i don't love love that but i think i know somebody who will so i'll probably be passing this along to a friend then we have blueberry muffin blueberry cheesecake cherry cheesecake i was like in it until the cherry i don't really like cherry scents but the cherry's like very faint so i'm probably gonna give this one a try because i do like a blueberry scent and i don't actually have that many then we have Giggles, which is Clary Sage, Lemon, Bergamot, Cedarwood, Amber Lily, and Carnation. Ugh. Nope. Oh, it's so florally. It's like just a really like interesting blend of floral and like savory almost. Like uh, seasonings, uh, herbs, like I don't know. I, that's not for me. Then we have Betty's Oatmeal Pie and Funnel Cake. And this is really interesting. I don't always love the way oatmeal wax smells. It's like very buttery. I don't know. There's something about it. This is like, I feel like part of me loves it and part of me hates it. So I think I'm going to melt it so I can see what I think on warm. Then we have Orange Beignet Lou's Bakery. I love Lou's Bakery. And this is really good. I would not have thought to put it with orange. But it's delicious. Um, and I'm very excited about it. Okay, then we have cherry birthday cake pistachio pudding. I love pistachio and I can get down with birthday cake. Don't love cherry. And this is like very artificial candy cherry to me and it's not, it's not for me. Beach Retreat, which is sea salt, citrus, pineapple, coconut, lotus, and musk. And then yeah, I don't like love tropical scents. Um, like, I particularly don't like pineapple, so that's probably going to be passed along. Then we have Velma, which is a uh, Live in La Vida Juicy Summer Scoop Rainbow Rainberry Rainbow Slush. And this is interesting. The, like, perfumey note in it is really interesting with the Summer Scoop and Rainbow Slush. But I'll probably melt that to give it a shot. And then we have... Mrs. Claus's Cookies Banana Pudding. I do like Mrs. Claus's Cookies. I don't usually like banana scents. And this is very runty. Um, I'm indifferent about it. I don't know what I think. Then we have Lavender Marshmallow Strawberry White Cake, which is a very interesting combination to me. Again, it's not things I would think to put together. And I don't know what I think. I also feel really indifferent about this one. That's it's such like an interesting box because sometimes I like love everything sometimes I don't like anything sometimes I'm like half and half but I feel really indifferent about a lot of these things which is a very interesting experience 
And lastly, we have Cranberry Dickens Christmas. And this is so good. It smells really familiar. Like gum that's familiar or something. But I like it so much more than I thought I would. And I am going to be very excited about that. Um, it is not like a Christmas tree type scent, but it's just very like, I don't know, it smells like gum. <laughs> but I am pumped about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know how you feel about mystery boxes because I feel like people are pretty divided about it. Um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and be good to yourself today.